Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. To replace the fan motor in this Goodman Central Air Condensing Unit, you will need a 5 16 inch nut driver, a 5 16 inch socket, an adjustable wrench, a flathead screwdriver, wire cutters, and zip ties. Before you begin, shut off the power to the unit. You can do this by removing the fuses from the disconnect box or switching off the circuit breaker. Shut off the power to the furnace as well. Use the 5 16 inch nut driver to unthread the two lower screws, securing the control box access cover. Loosen the two upper screws directly above the access cover so you can pull the cover down to remove. Use the wire cutters to cut the zip tie bundling the wires together. You should release the potentially stored electrical charge in the capacitor to avoid injury by placing the flathead screwdriver across each set of terminals. Avoid touching the metal portion of the tool when doing this. Now detach the brown and purple fan motor wires from the capacitor and the black fan motor wire from the contactor. Next, using the 5 16 inch nut driver, fully unthread the 14 screws securing the air grill cover. With all the screws unthreaded, lift the cover off of the unit and cut the zip tie securing the wires to the condenser coil so you can fully remove the cover and set it upside down. Note the orientation of the fan blade on the motor shaft. Then use the adjustable wrench to loosen the set screw so you can remove the fan blade. Flip the cover over and use the 5 16 inch socket to unthread the four mounting nuts, securing the fan motor to the cover. Pull the wiring through the conduit to fully remove the old motor. To install the new fan motor, first feed the wiring through the conduit. Now position the fan motor on the air grill cover. Replace the washers, then thread the four nuts to secure.
properly align the fan blade on the motor shaft, and tighten the set screw. Set the cover on the top of the condensing unit, allowing enough space to feed the motor wires through the hole in the control box. Use a new zip tie to secure the wires to the condenser coil. With the wires secured, fully align the cover on the condensing unit. Thread the 14 screws to secure. Do not fully tighten the two screws above the control box. Attach the black fan motor wire to the contactor terminal. Attach the purple wire to the common terminal, indicated by the letter C on the capacitor, and the brown wire to the fan terminal. Use a new zip tie to bundle the wires together. Reposition the access cover and replace the two lower screws to secure. Now tighten the two upper air grill cover screws. Restore power to the unit and to the furnace. And the central air condensing unit should be ready for use.